I've got the latest news for you. Hey, fragrance family, I'm David and I'm a fragrance bro. Of course, your best source for everything fragrance related. Today, I have a video that is on the news. It's about that time. It's been a couple of weeks since my last news report, so I thought I'd bring the news again today, and we got a lot of uh, news that has just happened. Of course, this is pretty informal, so I'm gonna go through the news, and I got the news from Now Smell This and from Fragrantica. All right, so let's go ahead with the news. The first thing on the news is something on my other channel, Beast Made Reviews. I posted a while back about a jacket that I really liked uh, on this channel, and I mentioned Beast Made Reviews, my second channel. If you haven't checked out that channel, I'll have a link down below uh, to that channel. I've produced a lot more content since then. I've hired a video editor uh, to help me out with that, so that's been going great. Um, I have some videos on some clothes and some shoes and some pens. It's been doing great. So if you're not familiar with that channel, definitely check it out. Other people have asked me about these shirts that I've been wearing. These are from Taylor Stitch. I uh, absolutely love these shirts. I will be talking about that on the channel as well. All right, first on the news is a new fragrance by YVRA. Now, many of you have watched this channel and you might be familiar with YVRA. They produce two fragrances, YVR 1958. Anyway, there's two of them. One of them is a really fresh one and one of them is more of a a darker version of a flanker of the other one, which is, both of them are great. Now, the newest one they're making is YVRA 1965. It's not created just yet. They actually have a Kickstarter right now that's been going on for a, a little while. I think it has about another month to go. They're already over goal, but if you want to get a YVRA fragrance for a great price, definitely check them out. I'll have a link down below to their Kickstarter campaign. Of course, I'm not getting anything for this, but I just thought I'd let you guys know about this. I'm definitely going to be reviewing this in the future, so stay tuned for that. Now, YVRA 1965 takes its inspiration from a very famous Playboy in the 20th century called um, Porfirio Rubiosa. Um, I didn't know that much about him, but apparently he's really popular uh, at, at, during that time. Notes in this are bergamot, saffron, lemon, nutmeg, pink pepper, mandarin orange, leather, incense, labdanum, patchouli, cedar, amber, and musk. Sounds like it's going to be really good. Sounds like it has a little bit of um, connection to the other fragrances in the line, so definitely looking forward to this one. Another tidbit about the news here is that uh, Thierry Mugler and um, I believe Azaro have been bought out by another parent company. Previously, it was owned by Clarence, um, but now I believe, um, but it's changing hands. I believe L'Oreal is buying them. I'm not exactly sure, but regardless of who is buying them out, some people are kind of um, mildly freaking out about uh, some popular Thierry Mugler fragrances. So some people are saying that the formulation is going to change. Maybe it's going to be for the worse. Not exactly sure. Um, I don't necessarily have a pessimistic attitude about this, but some people think that it might change. So if you're on the fence about a Mugler scent, definitely buy it before it changes. Next is a new fragrance by Valentino. Valentino Uomo Born in Roma, which apparently is kind of a new kind of fashion direction they're going for this line. Um, they pre previously had Valentino uh, Donna, which is their feminine fragrance, uh, Born in Roma. So now they're bringing out their masculine fragrance for Uomo. Born in Roma is supposed to have kind of a the sophistication of high fashion and street style for that line anyway. They describe it as a classical fragrant composition that is a woody aroma that is balanced with cool and salty accords. So whenever they say salty, I'm not looking forward to that now. <laughs> I'm a little salty on the salty. Salvatore Ferragamo is coming out with a new fragrance called Gentil Suono. It's part of their Tuscan creations. That's a long line of uh, fragrances that is supposed to harken back to Tuscany, Italy. They describe the scent as a textured fusion of woods, powdery notes, and flowers. Uh, recreating the atmosphere of a premiere. It has some interesting notes in here like black pepper, pure jungle essence, <laughs> which seems to be um, a synthetic uh, molecule, and prune neo jungle essence. <laughs> But overall, it seems to be a very interesting, woody, balmy fragrance. So we'll see. Of course, Valentino is bringing out Valentino Donna Born in Roma. Um, this is, of course, their Born in Roma collection of fragrances, along with the Uomo. This one is supposed to be a modern hot couture floriental. Issey Miyake is coming out with two new fragrances. Um, their female fragrance, Lo Dice Rose and Rose, and Lo Dice Pour Homme for men, wood and wood. From the names, you can already tell what these are supposed to be centered on. Uh, Lodi say Rose and Rose, 
definitely a rose fragrance and wood and wood is more of a woody fragrance. Tom Ford is coming out with a new fragrance called Metallic. This one is a floral fragrance and I believe it's supposed to be designed for women. It's coming out in their normal kind of uh, regular range of fragrances, kind of like ombre leather. In their press release, they said it was a high shine armor of addictive aldehydes that envelops its reverberating core of sensuous white flowers. In other words, it's a metallic floral scent. Maison Margiela is releasing two new fragrances, Coffee Break and Springtime in the Park. Coffee Break is supposed to be creamy and cozy coffee with apple, lemon, whipped milk, and sandalwood. Springtime in a Park is supposed to be blossoms and fruity notes with lily of the valley, rose, and jasmine. Chanel is releasing a new flanker called Gabrielle Chanel Essence, which is a flanker of Gabrielle Gabrielle Chanel released in 2017. This one is supposed to be centered on white flowers, jasmine, ylang ylang, orange blossom, and tuberose. Miller Harris is coming out with two new fragrances, uh, Blousey and Brighton Rock. Blousey is a floral gourmand unisex fragrance with a velvet-like rose and syrupy strawberry facets that give it a vintage-inspired scent with a modern twist. Brighton Rock is a unisex fruity floral fragrance for men and women uh, with candied mint rock facets. Indie House Smellbent has released two new fragrances that are based on pop songs. Uh, one is called Bad Girls, the other is Bad Guy. Bad Girls in a nutshell smells like ambery leather, uh, notes of leather jacket tobacco, amber, sandalwood, and super sexy musk. Bad guy in a nutshell is expensive florals. Uh, notes are tea ray, jasmine, orange blossom over suntan skin. Yves Saint Laurent is coming out with a new fragrance, Why Live, which is the third in their Why collection. Just makes me wonder why. <laughs> Apparently I am the model for this fragrance, okay. <laughs> notes in this are orange blossom, ginger, bergamot, sage and juniper. Chopard is releasing four new fragrances in a collection they call Gardens of the Kings Collection. Uh, it's created by Alberto Marias, and we all know his track record. <laughs> They're inspired by kings in different regions. Um, Agar Royal, which is supposed to be inspired by India. Agal Imperial, <laughs> probably pronouncing that wrong, which is inspired by Asia, East Asia. Nuit de Ruiz, which is inspired by Middle East. And Or de Kalambac, which is inspired by Latin America, specifically Cuba. Don Spencer Hurwitz is coming out with six new perfumes. Um, I'll just go through the names real quick. One is uh, Eau Crepuscule de Lavande in the Lavender Twilight, as translated. Um, avocado Toast, we all love avocado toast. <laughs> Gardenia Vitriu, um, which is translated as Glassy Gardenia. Go straight to the heart right there. I'm gonna try that one. Le Jade, Royal Grey Cologne, which is an all botanical Earl Grey scent. Man, these, these French names, they're really hard for me. Uh, Vers La Vote Etoile, Towards the Starry Vault is translated. Nocturne number two uh, says also. Definitely gonna check those out. Ralph Lauren has just released Beyond Romance, which is a flanker to the 1998 release of Romance. Um, this is a women's release. Um, some of the notes in this are uh, raspberry coulis, mandarin, bergamot, jasmine, lily of the valley, cashmere, and white musks. Miller Harris has another fragrance coming out called Dance Among the Lace. Um, it's supposed to be a crisp and invigorating duo of minty notes blended with mouthwatering lime and zesty verbena with a lush base of vetiver and moss evoking the vivid greenery of London's secret bounty. Guerlain is coming out with Mont Guerlain Intense, which is a flanker to a 27 release Mont Guerlain. Um, this one is a woody oriental fragrance that offers lavender and mandarin top notes, woody patchouli and sandalwood base notes. It's uh, tied together by vanilla heart notes and is one of the brand's most notable olfactory signatures, apparently. Niche line Keiko Macheri is coming out with a new fragrance called Endless Summer. It is first and foremost inspired by Indonesian patchouli and warm musk, while the scent is rounded out by mandarin tuberose incense and balms, where each note plays its role without overpowering the other. Hermes just launched its new fragrance, Twilly d'Hermes Eau Poivre, which is a flanker to 2017's version of uh, Twilly d'Hermes. It's centered around a trio of notes, pink peppercorn, rose and patchouli. Moschino has just announced a new fragrance, their first fragrance for men called Toy Boy, which is following their toy line, a unisex line and Toy 2 for women. It's described as a spicy woody and amber composition that begins with a combination of citrus fruits, fruits, resins, and spices. 
Uh, the heart includes full floral accords of magnolia and rose absolute in combination with spicy cloves uh, based on woods and musk. Fragrance line E Profumi del Marmo has released a new fragrance line called Travertino, which is an interpretation of the smell of stones. It seems like a really cool line, and each of the fragrances has a stone enclosure that holds the fragrances. First is Travertino, which is supposed to smell like travertine limestone. Arabescato, which features uh, marble from Tuscany. Portoro, which is modeled after stone quarried marble. Uh, from Porto Veneri, Italy. Eminentia, which is inspired by jasper with a rose color with white marks crisscrossing throughout the stone. And Rosa Verona, which is inspired by the rose marble of Verona and the Storio of Romeo and Juliet. Lacoste has just released uh, Lome Lacoste Timeless, which is a flanker to 2017's Lome Lacoste by Lacoste. It's an aromatic, spicy fragrance that has notes of cardamom, bergamot, rhubarb, ginger, black pepper, vanilla, cedar, amber, and musk. Guaranteed to not be timeless. <laughs> Armani is coming out with a new fragrance in their Privé line called Orangerie Venice, which is inspired by Gardens of the World and is an aromatic citrus scent. It's made by Dominique Ropion, and some of the notes in this are bitter orange, citruses, bergamot, neroli, buchu, cedarwood, moss, and ambroxan. With that, I'd like to thank my sponsor, Fragrance X. Fragrance X is an online retailer that sells thousands of legitimate fragrances for a discounted price. If you're considering buying a fragrance, definitely check out Fragrance X. I'll have a link down below to them as well as a coupon. And that is all the news I have for today. What do you think of uh, these releases? Did I miss any? Let me know, of course. Of course, if you like this type of content, feel free to subscribe down below and click that little bell so you get a notification every time I make an upload. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave Earth the Fragrance Bros. Bye.